Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Continuing our predictions and talking about the upcoming promotion of footies. We have one day to go until footies is here. I'm pretty excited for it. Hope you guys are too. And um, I want to look at a couple things today on the market regarding um, some price movements. We're going to look at some different cards today, look at some possible cards that could win footies. And basically, we're going to be talking about the phenomenon. I don't even know if this is technically a phenomenon, but it's a thing that a really, really easy way to trade and a great way to trade in FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, and that's basically called substitute trading or substitute investing. Um, and I want to kind of talk to you guys through some of that stuff today. Obviously, if you're new to FIFA and new to trading, this is a perfect thing to learn. And it's also to keep, you know, freshen up on your trading skills, even in this time of the year where a lot of us have our teams that we've invested for and that we've traded for all year. Where We have those teams in our in our clubs. We're playing with those players and having fun, as much fun as we can with this gameplay. Um, but I want to look at some substitute trading because footies this week is going to bring some insane cards on the market, as we've seen in the past years. And that's going to cause some market movements. Um, so first example I want to look at, and we can just jump right into this by me showing you an example and talking through this. This Bakioko card last year, FIFA 18, Bakioko was, um, you know, one of the centerpiece cards. So so many people loved using this 82 rated card of his, his 82 rated gold card. People use that far into the year because he was just so very meta. The build of the game suited his card so very well. So obviously, he was his card that people used was this one right here, the Chelsea, at the end of the year at least, they used the Chelsea French card. Now this footies card was insane. I mean, I had this in my end game team last year. And you can think, there's gonna be cards this year um, that are gonna have this exact same thing happen to them. Now before we go and look at some examples, what kind of cards do you think would be affected by a brand new, very meta and very OP French Premier League CDM? Because that's kind of where you would play Bakioka. You'd probably stay back in a CDM sort of role. Wouldn't really play CM for too many people, more of a CDM type player. Who would he replace? Well, probably Pogba, probably a guy like Fabinho's UCL Live card, probably a guy like um, a, an icon, like a Petit. Maybe a baby Vieira or a middle Vieira, you would want to try this card out. And maybe like an LR or, you know, somebody like that. A CDM player that is from the Premier League. That's who this guy, if somebody has a Premier League team, they would look to maybe get this guy and put them in their team. Or a French team, something like that. That's basically what substitute is. So people would go and sell their cards that they have. So let's say if that, if that exact footies card, if that Bakioko card came out this year, into this market right now, what cards would take a hit? I think this card would take a hit as one of the most meta, most used Prem CDMs. Probably some of the um, team of the season cards like uh, Fernandinho would take a hit because a lot of people are probably using this team of the season card right now. This card would probably take a hit as a CDM in the Premier League. And then you probably have a guy like Pogba take a little bit of a hit. Maybe a guy like Genduzzi, and maybe some icons like Petit, uh, Vieira. I shouted those already. I'm probably forgetting one. Um, but that's the kind of stuff that you'd see go down in price because people would go and get this card to replace the card they currently have in their team. And that's the whole substitute thing of trading. But it also works the other way. People have a ton of coins right now, and this is the perfect scenario for a bounce back. And we're going to start looking at a few examples for this year. Um, and what could happen with those cards. So you might see that Pogba inform. Um, and of course, you're going to want to focus on the inform cards here, the special cards that are out of packs. And obviously, we're not going to know what's out of packs and what's going to be in packs during footies. So that's kind of a, you know, a tricky situation as well. But let's say this Pogba inform is 345k right now. Let's say this card drops to like 300,000 coins flat or like 280 depending on what the SBC price is for that Bakayoko, if it would come out in this year's FIFA. I don't think it is, just using an example, once again, to clarify. That might be an investment opportunity because somebody who goes and gets this Bakayoko card 
might want to go make a team and get that strong link between Pogba and Bakioko. So it kind of works both both ways. People will panic sell the cards to go get the new one, but they'll also start to build a team around that card, especially with meta players in the game, and they will go and that those the players that just were panic sold will rise back up because they link to that new card. So that's why substitute investing is a great way to trade on FIFA. And if you can learn to trade like this, it's really fun and it works all the time. Um, especially in a market like this right now, you have to be wary of what the market is at. You know, obviously right now the market is very rich. We have a lot of coins coming off of a ton of team of the season rewards. People still will be packing blues in their guaranteed ultimate and elite team of the season uh, guaranteed packs. You know, so there's going to be a lot of coins that continue to come onto the market as people are still involved in the game and another promo is coming up. So that brings people onto the game as well. So that's kind of the, the gist of substitute trading. Now, I want to take a look at a few examples this year where this could happen. And today we're just kind of focusing on this one method because I want to talk to you guys about this and also kind of talk to you guys about what could happen with some cards during footies. I think Rashford is going to get a footies card. Because he's gotten plenty of cards this year. He's got a couple. He got a hero card, a player of the month. He's got this. Obviously, he has the headliner card. Uh, he got an SBC earlier on in the year. I think he's a perfect candidate for a footies card. And this card's going to be incredible. Let me let me tell you. I mean, this card right here, his headliner card. Look how much this was earlier in the year. Seven hundred and fifty-eight thousand coins obviously now it's down here at 300,000 coins probably going to drop a little bit lower as he's a favorite card for footies but you're going to see um if he does get a footies nominee SBC if they do footies the same way this year let's say he gets nominated that's almost a sure win a Manchester United English striker with five star skills a four star weak foot and can you imagine a plus three or a plus four boost on this card he's going to have 90 plus everything except for maybe physical and defense. That's going to be an insane card. So many people are going to want to have in that team. So what's going to drop because of this? Well, Premier League strikers. Probably some of those team of the season Premier League strikers um, that everybody loves to use. Maybe a Sun. Maybe Aguero. Probably, um, who's one that I'm missing? Lacazette. Some of those guys would drop in price because people want to get that card into their teams. Now, who is a, like what kind of card would go up at the same time because of that? Well, who are you gonna link with this Rashford card? English strikers, Harry Kane doesn't have that many special cards this year. Jamie Vardy, you know, not exactly top tier. You're probably gonna link this card to a full Premier League side or maybe like a, an English icon, maybe use Michael Owen um, or Stevie G, you know, something like that. That could be a card that you link to this with, um, but it's Premier League. People are going to make Premier League teams. People are still using these Premier League Tots cards. So you see them get panic sold. Let's see. Let's say you see Sun. He's one of the most hyped up. Or Aubameyang. Let's see. A, let's say Aubameyang is two million coins flat, or like one point eight. Like he just drops out of the sky. That would be a big time, big time drop in this card. Let's say two million flat. That would definitely be an opportunity if you're somebody who has wanted a bombing for your team. I wouldn't say this is a great opportunity to trade with this card. Buy it for two million coins, wait a week, and it goes up to back up to two, 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 three. That'd be a good time to buy that card for your team, just because the the return on investment on cards this high isn't as good as some of the lower level cards. That's why I pointed out a guy like that Pogba before. That Pogba would be a perfect opportunity to invest in and to put in your team at the same time, depending on what you wanted for. And your situation. One more example, just so we can get the hang of this. Let's say Fabinho gets a um, footies card. I would expect Fabinho to win just about any vote that he's in, in terms of midfielders. Um, one of the most OP cards this year has a couple special cards, obviously has this UCL Live card. And if they give him a footies card with another boost, that's going to be a ridiculous card. A lot of people are going to have that in their teams. What cards are going to go up because of this? Well, Brazilian. There's a ton of Brazilian special cards in this game. Premier League, Liverpool. Obviously, we know we have uh, the links to Van Dyke, the links to Robertson. But who's specifically going to be panic sold because of this Fabinho card? Definitely Fernandinho Tots. This card would definitely take a hit if, Fernand or if Fabinho did get a team this season card. I would expect this card to take a hit 
and I would also expect it to rise right back up because if you need a strike force, a CDM pair, I guess that's not really a strike force, that's a strike force, that's like a wall in the back with your defenders, two Brazilian CDMs that would perfectly link up in your Premier League team if you run a hybrid or whatever, Fernandinho and Fabinho would be those two guys. If you're like a 4-2-3-1 type player, which a lot of people use in this game, I would see this card panic sold and then also have an opportunity to rise back up. One more quick last mention, Davinson Sanchez, I think has got a very good shot at getting a footies card. That card's gonna be nutty as well. Premier League center backs though, when it comes to elite Premier League center backs, you have Laporte Tots, you have Van Dyke, and you don't really have too many others. Flashback David Luiz and Sanchez. Those are kind of your top tier meta uh, Premier League center backs. You could look for some panic selling on VVD, but people are probably, if they're going to have a Prem team, match a, a Sanchez up with VVD. So it all depends on what other cards are out there, and it also depends on the price of the SBC. You know, if they release that um, that Rashford SBC, let's say the SBC costs 300,000 coins, which is the current price of his headliner card, you're going to see a lot of those cards, especially in the million coin range, dip a lot, like maybe a Lacazette Tots. People would dump that card to go try this Rashford because Lacazette's a million coins and you probably will get a better card in terms of value with the four, the four star weak foot and five star skills if there was a Rashford footies uh, for like 300, 400, and 500,000 coins, somewhere in there. So that's what I wanted to kind of explain to you guys today about substitute trading. It's really good, it's great, and we're going to see a lot of this stuff happen during footies if they do shape it the same way now obviously they could put these cards in packs and then still you would see a drop off um but it would be interesting to see the kind of rise as as in when there's an sbc that sbc has a market value where it kind of you know it sets the market for that position and that player like let's say um let's go back to our rashford example let's say they price rashford at four hundred thousand coins that's pretty cheap for the boost that they would give him, 500,000 coins might even be too cheap as well. But a guy like Lacazette, you know, that's going to really put a price tag on him and people are going to really revalue how much of this card is worth in the game because you would have um, that new Rashford on the market with arguably better stats than this card, most likely, or at least close to it. And stuff like that. So that's a really interesting thing with SBCs based on just a card being on the market is the SBC carries a price tag and then the whole market around it kind of has to decide, hey, how much do we value these other players instead of this SBC that are in the same position, same nation, same league, stuff like that. So this to some of you guys, this might have been pretty basic. To some of you guys, this might be something that you have known for a very long time and you've done substitute trading throughout the year, and you already know how to make coins from that kind of stuff. That's awesome, that's great. It's good to refresh once in a while and talk through some things, but I think this is gonna be a very prevalent way to make coins, and I, and also, if you have your eye on somebody like a Lacazette, or like an Aguero, or like a Hyunmin Sun, or a Bamiyang Team of the Season card, footies might present you with an opportunity to get one of their cards at a very, very cheap price, not very, very cheap, but a discounted price, as footies SBCs will be coming out, boosted players will be coming out, and you know, it all depends on the SBC value, what happens with some of these card prices. So if you're eyeing any of these really high level strikers for your team, some of these footies SBCs could present a buying opportunity for some of those cards. Um, I know, again, you're probably like, yo, Nate, why are you talking about footies investing. Ah, this isn't really investing. This is kind of, you can invest, you can make some coins off of this if you want to, but the real reason to do this stuff right now, at least in my opinion, is if, you are, if you're if you eyeing one of those cards for your team, getting in the panic cell, buying that card in the panic cell when an SBC comes out, like even if Fabinho comes out as a vote, or um, Davidson Sanchez or Rashford comes out as a vote, People are going to be thinking, oh man, this Rashford SBC is coming. I got to sell my whatever Premier League striker card. You're probably going to see some panic sell start to happen even before that footies winner SBC is going to come out, even though we can probably guess who it's going to be in some cases. 
Now again, this is all based on if EA does footies the same. If they do drop some sick cards into packs, there will be some similar market movements, but it probably won't be as centralized and it won't be as easy to pick it out right away because it's all going to happen kind of right at once when those cards come into the game, when we see price points. And it'll be almost like a usual Friday of cards coming in packs, panic sell beforehand, panic sell when the cards come out because the cards are insane or whatever. So just wait until Wednesday to see what we get and see if it is actually uh, structured the same way as in years past. But I wanted to kind of bring you that video today because I want to talk about some of the stuff. This honestly kind of reminds me of, um, if we really think about it, it kind of reminds me of footmiss. There's a lot of substitute trading that goes on during footmiss because player SBCs come out, dropping the price of one card, but then obviously people are in the middle of FIFA, they're buying teams, they're putting together squads that link with these um, and substitute with some of these new SBC cards on the game. So um, that's a good thing to watch out for. And of course, what is a foot accountant video without checking out some of the cheapest players by rating? I always forget how big this page is. It's not big enough without my face cam on that side. But some of these cards have risen back up a little bit. So if you guys stopped your club, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, GG's. I saw some 88's that I got for like 23,000 coins. I got some 89's for 32, some 87's, a plethora of 87's under 20K, and a bunch of 86's for around 15K as well. So if you stocked your club, put some on your transfer list, GG's for you. It's gonna be a big week of SBC's, hopefully. Hopefully some really, really sick cards. We're gonna find out in a day or so. Um, but again, I wanted to bring you guys this video today just to talk about market movements and to kind of, you know, kind of teach you guys, put some methods out there um, on the FIFA Ultimate Team market. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Photo Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.